How to wire my Honeywell HC311 zone panel and transformer to my furnace. Hello, tell me please the brand and model number of the furnace and the thermostat wire connections on the printed circuit card inside the furnace. For instance R, Y, W, G, and C etc. We can go from there. It's a Linux YW or GC. My connections now are as follows. 1. From the outside condenser, a red wire to Y and a white wire to C2. From thermostat, a yellow wire to Y, white wire to W, green wire to G, a blue wire to C, and a red wire is wire nutted to a red wire from the little black pump outside the furnace 3. From the little black pump, a red wire is wire nutted to a red wire wire of thermostat and a black wire to R. Thanks, very helpful, however the little black condensate pump wiring is suspect. If it runs, we can ignore that aspect. I will be back in about half an hour with wiring instructions for HC311. See page 7 https colon slash forwardthinking.honeywell.com slash related underscore link slash zoning slash true zone slash install slash 69 underscore 2069 f dot pdf tell me if the furnace is gas fired or oil fired. So far it looks like it is gas fired, in that case you would use this diagram we can go from here as needed, when you have what you need please locate the finish and rate link and follow the prompts, that is the only way the company pays me. Thanks. I have that diagram for my instructions for my zone panel. I know the green wire from the thermostat goes to the G on zone panel. I know the white goes to W. I know the yellow goes to Y but there's a blue going to the C. Do I just leave it connected to the C and from the condenser there is a white going to the C? Do I leave it connected to the C on the furnace? And the condenser don't have a yellow wire going to the Y. It uses a red wire to go to the Y. So do I hook up the red wire from the condenser and the yellow from the thermostat to the Y on the zone panel? Yes, C on the zone controller goes to C on the terminal strip, any color wire works, blue is a common choice. Run Y and C from the terminal strip in the furnace to the condenser, use white for C and red for Y. To clarify, use a white wire for C and a red wire for Y when running the two wires out to the condensing unit. Do not run the two wires that go to the outside unit from the HC311. Run them from the terminal strip in the furnace. C and Y. You are saying that the wires coming from the condenser don't get connected to the zone panel, they stay connected to the furnace. Yes. Okay, if that's the case, that leaves me with four wires. The blue wire from the thermostat that is connected to C. Does that just stay connected to the furnace? The black wire from the pump that's connected to the R. Does it get connected to the RH of the zone panel? And the red wire of the thermostat that is wire nutted to the red wire of the pump. Do they just stay wire nutted together? Two wires attached to Y on the furnace terminal strip, Y from the zone controller and red wire running to the outside unit. Let's worry about the pump later. Make no other changes. Did the pump run earlier, before you decided on the zone controls? What voltage rating is on the sticker that is affixed to the pump? How many wires are attached to the pump? I need the pump brand and model number. Do not do any guessing such as regarding RH terminal. We can get pretty well screwed up by guessing. This sort of work is absolute. No guessing at all works dot but can burn out the electronics. Beckett Corporation CB2010115 V has two blue wires coming out. Normal size electrical wires. There is thermostat wire connected to them. 
A red and a black? That's the two wires I keep talking about. I haven't wired anything just duct work. Here are pictures. Should have sent earlier. Sorry. HTTP colon slash screencast dot com slash T slash Knox zero E zero C. YWRGC the black tape is from the pump the tan tape is from the condenser the blue tape is from the thermostat also here is a picture of the zone panel so you can see it. Thanks, the red and blue from the pump are for a built-in overflow prevention switch dot it is used to shut the entire system down if the pump quits working. Remove the wire from the R terminal on the furnace terminal strip, connect it to red on the pump, then run the blue wire back to the R terminal on the furnace terminal strip. The wires coming from the pump are red, black, not blue. And the wire connected to the R is the black from the pump. That's okay, where is the red from the pump connected? It's connected to the red from the thermostat with a wire nut. They are not connected to a terminal. That should work. I am off to bed now. I will pick your response up in the morning. Off work now. Looked over what you told me, would like to review to make sure I got it. Okay, let's do it. Okay, let's not deal with the black and red wire coming from the pump now that you say is for the overflow prevention switch. Let's unhook them and deal with that last. I'm having two zones. One for my main level which will be zone 1. One for a couple of rooms in basement which will be zone 2. The thermostat for the main level is what is connected to the furnace now. If I understand you correctly, I would disconnect all the thermostat wires from the furnace and reconnect them to the zone panel where it says thermostat zone 1. Is that correct? Only the zone control panel connects to the furnace. The two thermostats now connect directly to the zone control box per the wiring diagram. Same with the zone dampers. This has gone beyond simply wiring the zone control to the furnace. If I am not careful I could spend days with you and at my 100% loss, the company only pays me if you rate positively. If you choose to rate I can continue, if not, that is okay, I can opt out and we can see if any other experts here want to get this deeply involved. I hope you understand, thanks. I understand. I will rate you. For the zone panel, Y to Y, W to W, G to G, and R to RH correct. And for reconnecting the pump to the furnace, which letters do I connect the red and black wires to? Hello again, thanks for the rating. And the great bonus. Correct on the stats to zone panel. You had the red and black wires correctly before you disconnected them. The float switch in the pump is to be wired in series with the wire connected to R on the furnace terminal strip. I know I leave one wire from the pump connected to the R. But the red wire was wire nutted to the red wire from my thermostat. I can't keep it there because now the thermostat wire is connected to the zone panel. So now what does the other wire from the pump that is not connected to the R get connected to? If you can help me with that I'll be set. You are confused about those circuits, wire it using the wire nut to red from the zone and black to black just as you had it, no changes. I understand now. If I didn't have the pump, the R terminal from the furnace would go right to the RH on the zone panel. But because I have the pump, the RH from the zone panel will be wire nutted to the red from the pump. Then the black from pump goes to our terminal. 
Correct. Thanks for all your help and you patient with me. Really appreciate you. Thanks. Off to bed shortly, and we'll pick up any further questions etc. that you have first thing in the morning. If you have a home improvement or appliance question and want to chat with an expert now visit justanswer.com slash YTHI.